welcome back to my channel. So I am back with another look and today I decided, um, I know it's not sold in stores right now, sorry about this, but I know this, the eyeshadows are sold individually so I'm using the Anastasia Silk Nade Palette. It's just too pretty. I've been dying to do a look with it and I've been kind of procrastinating, but all the shadows are sold individually. And there's a million dupes in the world, so obviously you don't have to do this, but this specific look, I worked on doing a cut crease. Which, if you don't know what cut crease is, it's... Cool, I have a brush in front of me. Basically what I'm doing is defining the fact that there's dark up top and I'm leaving my lid blank. And I'm not dragging any colors downward, I'm only keeping them up above in the crease. So you're going to see like... This is a very defined look. It does take time because it's a lot of precision. Now there are ways to just kind of make it a little messy and just kind of like throw a shadow over top of the lid, but this is very precise. And you're going to see that there's no color drifting downward on the lid. It's all up. And then I go back in with a little darker shadow to really define the line. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get on to the tutorial. Start, I am going to go in my Nivea Men aftershave balm uh, to prime my face and I'm going to be working it into the skin until it becomes tacky. For foundation, I'm going to be going in my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation, which is a medium to full coverage matte foundation. Um, this is from the drugstore. It gives an awesome finish and I'm obviously almost done with my first tube and I'll definitely be re repurchasing a second one. It is definitely a favorite from the drugstore. And I'm just going to be taking that all over the face with a damp beauty blender. Make sure you always damp in your beauty blender and just pat all over the face. And I'm going to be taking that down the neck to make sure my face and my neck match up. For concealer, I'm going to be going in Maybelline Asia Line, which is true favorite, love it, not much more to say about it. I'm going to be taking that underneath the eyes to help brighten and cover up dark circles. And I'm going to be taking that down the bridge of the nose, the cupid's bow, the chin, and the forehead to help balance and brighten my face. And I'll be buffing that all in with a damp beauty blender. To set the concealer, I'm going to be going with Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit in fair and I'm going to be using a Kat Von D shade and light palette uh, brush. This has honestly become my favorite brush to use but I'm just going to be taking the vanilla and the banana shade and setting everything on the face. To start the eye look, I already have one eye completely done. I'm going to be taking an angled brush and dipping into hot chocolate. I'm going to be taking the brush and then I'm going to be creating my defined crease. For anyone who doesn't have a crease, what you want to do is feel for your orbital socket of the bone and feel where your eye and your bone meet and that's where you're going to want to create your crease. So we're going to pick up a pencil brush and dip it into sherbet and what we're going to be doing is buffing out that harsh line and making it a little softer. Make sure you keep the color above in the crease and not anywhere going down on the lid. You want to keep the lid completely blank. This is going to take a lot of precision. Now I'm going to start really building up the crease by going back and forth between hot and cold and hot chocolate until I get the desired depth and color that I want. Obviously this will vary person to person by how dark they want their crease, but for this look I did want to go very dramatic so I continued to go back and forth between two colors until I got the right amount of darkness and color. That Now I'm going with hot chocolate on a flat definer brush and really starting to carve out that crease once again and making a distinguished line between the lid and the crease itself. And I will keep going back in and blending until I get the sharp look that I want. For the lid color, I'm going to be going in with Isla, which I think I'm pronouncing that right, probably wrong, but I'm going to be taking that on first on a brush, and then I kind of realized I wasn't getting the intensity I wanted, so I immediately switched to my finger to get the right amount of intensity I want. And then once I did that, um, I would go back in and I constantly keep blending out the crease to make sure it's a defined edge and it's cleaned up. Then I go into the lower lash line and I will be picking up hot chocolate 
and sherbet and buffing that in with a flat definer brush. And then I would be taking a pencil brush just to smudge everything out down there. Now we're on to the cheeks and I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and I'm taking Java on a small contour brush and I'm really going to be focusing on carving out my cheekbones and also my jawline and forehead. I'm going to be contouring my nose for this look using Java again on an E25 brush this time and just lightly bringing that over my nose making my nose appear. Bronzer, I'm going to be just wiping my Morphe brush through all of the contour shades and just warming up the face. blush I'm going to be using Milani Luminoso blush just to give me a peachy glow on the face. <laughs> Highlight I'm going to go on my Becca Champagne Pop and Pearl. Mixing them on the cheekbones, the bridge of the nose, the forehead, the chin, you know just everywhere. <laughs> For lips, I'm going to be using Dosa Color Stone. I just got three Dosa Color lipsticks in and I absolutely love them. They're amazing. Definitely a good formulation to try if you're into liquid lipsticks. interesting to do this kind of um, eye look. I've been dying to use this thing. I still use it. It's one of my go-to palettes. I just love it. I think it's a really good universal palette. If for some reason you still can find this, because sometimes Macy's and things like that carry it, tend to carry um, Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes for a little bit longer, um, I grab your hands on it. But I absolutely love this look. If you can, get a couple of the individual shadows. Things are awesome. Um, their shadows are very awesome, very blendable, but if you're looking for something in comparison, there's a million different kinds of shadows out there and different ways for you to recreate this look. And yeah. And if you do recreate it, please tag me on Instagram. I will have my Instagram listed below in the description box. Description box, or maybe on the screen. Ooh, maybe like right here in the corner. Yeah, like right there. But, um, yeah. Remember, hope you guys have a great day, night, wherever you are. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Bye, guys. <laughs>